in terms of the Fortnite age restriction on cosmetics i will agree there's a lot more important things going on in the world i'm not going to lose sleep over it personally i think it's a little silly i think it's backwards simply put if you don't want these underage experiences to be seeing things too aggressive that are already in your game that we've purchased make me look like a default problem solved if you don't want them to see it make them see a default that's all i'm saying might not be that easy but it is in my head let's get sweaty even though epic games being a little sketchy right now i'm going to try to do my due diligence to lewis hamilton here one of two outfits releasing tomorrow november 17th epic games even though you're being a little sketchy thank you for the early access this is one of two outfits for lewis hamilton this is the launch day lewis hamilton we have two edit style colors launch day and nitrous blue we have helmet on helmet off styles which you can use with each edit style color as you would think and then reactivity on or off i'll show you how it's reactive in game one of two back blings. this is the rocket ready roscoe back bling reactive how i'll tell you in game but we do have the nitrous blue style as well for this harvesting tool the pole positioner does have both styles as well as you might have guessed which is pretty cool i like options like that and then the glider as you guessed both has the, the edit style options god i can't speak substream surfer and nitrous blue here we do have an emote that i believe goes on forever called scootin circles it's doing donuts on a scooter which is pretty fun pretty fun and then a animated rap called race day flare let's get sweaty reactivity test with the back bling the thrusters will get brighter and more aggressive upon jumping the outfit will get more bright as i jump you can see here with the yellow accents on the outfit you can see the thrusters going off on each jump as well now when i stop moving the glow goes away on the outfit fair enough if i simply just move and run i will get more of that glow on the outfit as well now the last reactivity would be the electricity which is when i'm sprinting so you can see three two one electricity now i'm sprinting when i do stop sprinting the electricity will go away but the glow will stay as long as i keep moving now it's just the same effect in the air with the glider yes the dog will disappear upon getting whistled at check this out deploying now I'm not thrusting. Now when I thrust, I'm going to get electricity and glow on the outfit. Glow, electricity. I'm going to stop thrusting. No longer glowing goes away. Slow decay. And the dog barked as well on the glider, which was very cool. Equip and equip of the harvesting tool. It almost looks like the other edit style. I might have them backwards right now. My apologies. Nice impact. I love how it's going the directions that I'm swinging. We've been seeing that a little bit lately. Directional impacts are really fun. Hitting weak points as well. So I told you this was one of two backplings. This is the pole positioner, same name as the harvesting tool, but now it is the carrying case, I guess you could call it for the actual tool. So we're gonna show you that in game as well. So this backbling is not reactive. Keep that in mind, but it does visually unequip here, as you can see, which is nice. And I haven't really showed the wrap yet because it matches the other Lewis Hamilton outfit, but it is animated. You will see it slowly changing colors here as I'm aiming down sights. And the outfit looks good without the helmet. I will say, though, I really enjoy the helmet. It does look aggressive, and I do like the physics here on the hair as well. Hello? Wrong button. Here we go. Physics on the hair look pretty good. Some back things you can wear here. Obviously, what it came with. What it came with. We have the dark deflector. It looks pretty good. It's not the exact purple, but very close. Same thing with Dread Shield here. We have the wheelie for a race car theme. Now, it is to my knowledge that Lewis Hamilton is part owner of the Denver Broncos. I don't know the details on that, but it does make sense if you know. Signal Hub, in terms of the reactivity, it could be a really fun like RPM scale in terms of when it's reactive and it like lights up all the way around. If you have an imagination, it makes sense. Then we have Wrong Turn here. I think Carbon looks way better here. Of course, it's not selected where I want Fortnite. Fortnite. Now with the backlink here, not a whole lot I'm going to go over here. We have what it came with. This is the other Lewis Hamilton style we haven't got to yet. It is its own separate skin, not a style, my apologies. 
Eco Echo, I kind of like it for a theme. It looks pretty fun. Fish Drift, shout out to Irto for covering this while I was hunting. It's close. Yeah, it's not a gold, it's one of a yellow, but I like it. Storm Racer with the style that I do not want on. This is what I wanted with the yellow. That's probably my favorite in terms of a race car theme as well, obviously. This looks good. This looks really good for a color match. That's probably my favorite. And then even though it's not a gold as before, this looks pretty good as well. With the purple and yellow, it looks pretty decent in my opinion. So this is everything with the nitrous edit style for the outfit, back bling, tool, glider. We can see no reactivity right here. As I start running, that purple and blue really pops. I could guess you could call it more of a pink and a blue pops on the outfit. And then when I'm sprinting, that electricity looks really nice. And use the glider here as well. It's still gonna whistle to bring the dog out, I'm sure. There he is on the glider. Again, reactivity when I'm thrusting with the outfit as well in the air. It would be the full sprinting effect of reactivity. Not thrusting. So he goes away. And it comes back. Now the harvesting tool should be the same here. Whoa. Whoa. Slightly different impact. I'll say the impact is pretty nice on this one. Has more of a pink and blue, not just a blue. Yeah, that looks nice. I like that a lot. ADS here. I don't think I ADS that much with the original edit style here. And then hitting opponents with this edit style of the tool. I definitely like the effects more on this harvesting tool style, but I think, you know what? It was easier to find combos with this style too. It was way easier to find combos. We did put on Rocco here and we took off the helmet for the actual edit style here. ADS again with this style. And then I want to see Rocco in the air disappear from my back on the glider. <laughs> I mean, so far the cosmetics are done very well. I just have like a weird taste in my mouth with the age restriction stuff right now, guys. Um, again, not going to lose sleep over it, but it, it's just, it's a little strange, you know? And you know what? Here's the new emote as well. Scoot in circles. If it was a traversal scooter emote, would have been pretty fun. But this is still cool, just doing donuts with the scooter. Rocco probably getting dizzy over there. <laughs> oh man. So some back things you can wear on this style now. Pretty expected on the first two, as this is where they came with, and it's supposed to be this one here. We do have the cubic vortex. That looks pretty damn cool. I feel like I've been using these wings a lot, but they look pretty cool nonetheless. Shining Star, I hope the appropriate style is here. It is not. I wanted this style here. That looks great. That is a great themed combo as well. Really, really cool. Then we have the Signal Hub once again for the RPM reasons for the reactivity and then the wrong turn once again for the steering wheel with the carbon style. Now, what we can uh, actually wear with the back wing here, I almost conf got confused on where I was at. We do have what it came with. We have the other outfit we're gonna go over right after this. Then we have Galaxy Scout. That looks clean. Love that. Is this too much of a stretch if I do this and change it to purple? Is this too much of a stretch? I kind of don't mind that there's not any blue on the outfit. I think it looks pretty aggressive nonetheless. Even if we do blue here, is the pink out of place? Mm, I don't know. It's up to you. It's up to you. Spire Assassin looks pretty cool. We got that blue uh, within the hair as well for that. Well, I guess you, you wouldn't call it hair, but it's there. Torin is interesting. I don't really like back blings on caped outfits, but that looks pretty cool. You can also come over here to the blue because we do have pink in the eyes. I know it's a stretch, but it's there, baby. And then we can try the purple as well. Um, not bad either. Not bad. Then we have Lombro just for some cool Fortnite related stuff in terms of um, llamas. And then Shady Zadie, a little bit of clipping with her firearm. Ooh, age restriction firearm on my hip, but can we try it on the white? I guess you could. I guess you could. But yes, this is one of the age restriction outfits because there is a firearm on her hip there where it's clipping through. So this is the Lewis Hamilton outfit. I'm not going to showcase any of the backlinks in the gameplay here, but we do have reactivity the same way we did before. Running, jumping, all of the stuff on the outfits become brighter and go a little bit crazy. And then we have the um, it's more of like a contra that comes off the outfit. 
when you're sprinting we can turn off the reactivity as well or be the track side cool they also have glasses on or glasses off options for this style and this is the actual outfit that the weapon wrap goes with the race day flare during the day here obviously the effects are not going to be as noticeable compared to nighttime as i'm sprinting we do have see you call them like contrails right coming off of the outfit now while i'm sprinting um outfit is very bright though at night though it's even brighter let me actually change the time of day here but i want the outfit to actually dim away with the actual reactivity here okay we have a little bit here all right now it's all gone we're just gonna run here without sprinting outfit is starting to glow here on all cylinders and now when i sprint we have that contrail effect now we're gonna have the same thing in the air and i do believe even jumping is going to make the outfit reactive as well just like before i'm just gonna actually do it right now let's try jumping i believe there's some glow coming back got fatigued here so even jumping will bring it in and out as well and then when we're in the air here we should have it go when we're actually thrusting oh it's actually all the way reactive right now is it going to dim away until I thrust? So this outfit appears to be fully reactive just by simply being in the air. The last one was I had to be going forward or back to have it be reactive. Let's try that again. That was a little interesting. Yeah, fully reactive right now. As I'm thrusting, I have the contrast on the outfit. So that is still the same with thrusting. But in the air with this outfit, always going to be fully reactive with the outfit base reactivity i've been aiming down sights with this outfit i don't really care much for this outfit for lewis hamilton no offense my guy but i don't really feel this one all that much and obviously we know the other style is just an all black in game not reactive so i'm just going to look for an e10 plus etc rated experience <laughs> To see what I can actually wear with the back bling selected. I should have done this prior with the other edit styles. Um, I didn't even think about that, to be honest, but I'm going to show you here. If anything I have favored it is blocked out and it is not blocked out. Anything here. We have the Octane Cruiser with this current style. We have the Electro Grin Charger from J Balvin. We have the Pole Positioner. This is part of the same set. Part of the same set here as well. We have the Hands of the Galaxy. We have the blade bag. We have the crossfades equalizer, and then we have the exploding axis. Now, just to show you what I mean, just by equipping an E rated or E 10 plus in your lobby, you're going to see that I'm going to have bag things here that are going to be marked out. For some reason, this is too aggressive. This one I can understand. It's like a basically a severed head. I get that, but that is a way to test your locker. Oh, it's got sidearms. Can't use it. Can't use it. I don't think you can use um, Dr. Doom, so you can't use his cape either, obviously, because you're going to use it on him. Oh, we've got sidearms. Can't use that. So that's a good way to test what you can actually wear. Fortunately enough for me, with my current favorited items, I was having some questions on Twitter. Is the blade bag going to be restricted? No, it is not restricted. You can wear it in E-rated uh, experiences as well. As I'm recording this, Fortnite just tweeted. They said, more on today's rating announcement. About 7% of Fortnite outfits can only be equipped in islands rated teen. That was 132 of my outfits out of 1600. So it wasn't that much, but it was still kind of lame. Over the next year, we will enable most of these outfits to be compatible with all ratings by having them auto adjust appearance based on the island you want to play. We will enable most of these outfits. Most of these. Hmm. Should be all of them. Should be all of them. It is what it is. Epic Games, thank you again for the early access. This comes out tomorrow, November 17th. Thank you guys so much for watching. Supporter creator PIZ0, and we'll see you guys on the live stream. See ya.